going to resume on my mark. NTD safety. Three, step by safety. Two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and coming. Give us how the sequence has been initiated. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. All countdown functions now automatically controlled by the GLS computer located in the firing room integration console. Thank you. Our window will expire. About five minutes after our preferred launch time. T-minus eight minutes, 17 seconds and counting. All systems are go, except for... Uh, the fuel cells per your checklist. PLT in work. Except for the uh, range safety officer. We stand by as they continue to work through their problem. OTC PLT essential bus is connected to the fuel cell. Pilot Eric Bow flipped switches in the uh, cockpit to connect the three fuel cells directly to the essential power buses. T minus seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Fuelist is good for orbiter access arm recheck. And Discovery OTC from the processing team of Discovery to the crew of Discovery, enjoy the ride. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the work you did getting this uh, ready to go, and uh, appreciate all, all your work. And for those watching, get ready to witness the majesty and the power of Discovery as she lifts off one final time. Orbiter access arm retracting. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon talking with Space Shuttle Commander Steve Lindsay. We've inserted a hold, and the clock will hold at T minus five minutes. Copy, thank you. T minus six minutes, 50 seconds. Planning to hold at T minus five minutes unless the range is clear. Sure. Can you give us an update on your uh, repair? There's no changes out, sir. Copy, no change. JPS OTC start AT display recorders. Good work. PLT OTC, or PLT OTC perform APU pre-start. PLT Zork. OTC JRP display recorders are running. Okay. T minus six minutes, four seconds and counting. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon gave pilot Eric Bow the go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedure. The APUs provide pressure to the shuttle's three hydraulic systems that move the main engine nozzles and aero surfaces. T minus five minutes, 40 seconds and counting. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Minus five minutes, four seconds, and counting. Countdown clock is holding at T minus five minutes due to manual request. Countdown clock is holding here. Here we'll troubleshoot our uh, Eastern Range Central Command reporting system issue. Two minutes and 48 seconds of hold time remain in today's launch window of Space Shuttle Discovery. Today's launch window expires in 2 minutes, 28 seconds. And into the CTLS, we did indicate, get an indication that range safety uh, did throw their hold switch. That's affirmative. All systems are go with the exception of the eastern range. And they continue to troubleshoot a problem with their 
Central Command System Display. Two minutes remaining in the hold today. Two minutes remaining in our launch window. NASA Test Director Steve Payne checking with the Eastern Range on their status to pick up the count. We have 1 minute 30 seconds remaining in our window today. Forty seconds remaining in our launch window. Range is go. GLS has the SRO hold been removed. Negative, sir. SRO NTD. 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 I can remove the hold here. Come by, guys. SRO on two and two. So need you to put your hold switch in proceed position. Hold fire on proceed. BC GLS and you verify. GLS verified. Fifteen seconds remaining in our hold. T minus five minutes and counting. TLP OTC perform ATU start. TLP in work. CDI OTC reconfigure heaters. Copy in work. T minus four minutes, 41 seconds and counting. All systems are go and weather is green. Flight, direct to NTD. NTD, Houston flight, I have two seconds of train back hold remaining. Two, two seconds. seconds. Flight, TLP, 3 to AP is. Copy that. Pilot Eric Lowe reporting three good auxiliary power units. T minus four minutes and counting. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. Wind status is go for launch. And what is your status? We are go. Copy. Final test of the flight control surfaces is underway. This is a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness of the flight control surfaces, the elevons, speed brakes, and rudder. Minus 30 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete. Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre-programmed -pro series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. And we're completing purge of the shuttle main engines. TLT, OTC, clear cost in the warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. TLT in work. The gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Drop down work. 
Orbiter Test Conductor John Craxon requesting Pilot Eric Bow clear the caution and warning memory system. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is being terminated as planned. T minus one minute, 30 seconds and counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running on a, it's a three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waste. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bow and mission specialist Al Drew and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for two minutes and 32 seconds. Your two-engine towel.
Uh, we do have updates to your no-com mode boundaries, and we did launch late into pane one, our only pane. The uh, contingency aboard boundaries will use our in-plane pl plus 230. Let me know when you're ready to copy the new press to ATO and press to Miko. Okay, copy all. Two engine tail and ready to copy. Pinto, your press to ATO 11.9, press to Miko 15.4. That's a good read back on both. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should one of the engines fail, but all three engines continue to perform as expected. Capcom Charlie Hoba updating the crew there with some uh, updated uh, time information due to the later than planned launch. Three minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, the shuttle traveling 4,700 miles an hour. Discover you are negative return. Negative return. Discovery now traveling too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. But all three main engines continue to function as expected. The shuttle now traveling 5,200 miles an hour. Its altitude 62 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 170 miles. Four minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 6,200 miles an hour, its altitude 66 miles, downrange from KSC 229 miles. Here inside Mission Control, Flight Director Richard Jones and his team continue to monitor the progress of Discovery's flight. All systems are continuing to perform as expected. Discover you are pressed to ATO. Pressed to ATO. And I call from Capcom Charlie Hobai indicating that Discovery has enough energy to make it to a lower than planned orbit should one engine fail at this point. However, all three engines continue to burn as expected. Discover you are single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. Discovery's engines are now swiveling to roll the shuttle to a heads-up position to get better communication with NASA's tracking satellites. Discover your single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should two engines fail at this point, but the flight continues to go well. Six minutes, 24 seconds into the flight, the shuttle traveling 9,800 miles an hour. Its altitude 67 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 447 miles. Miko, BIM for you, nominal shutdown on all three, and Pinto, you'll be go for the plus X and go for the pitch. Press to Miko, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Good read back. That call from Capcom, Charlie Hobai, indicating that Commander Steve Lindsay has a go to press to main engine cutoff as expected in about a minute and a half. Discover you are single engine press. Single engine press. Seven minutes, 15 seconds into Discovery's flight. The shuttle traveling 12,700 miles an hour, its altitude 66 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 615 miles. Discovery's engines now throttling back to keep the forces on the crew and the shuttle to three times that of gravity. The shuttle traveling 14,000 miles an hour.
Less than 30 seconds to go in Discovery's powered flight. We're coming up on main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff confirmed. Space Shuttle Discovery now in space. External tank separation confirmed. Commander Steve Lindsay will steer the shuttle up to the uh, forward portion of the external tank so that the umbilical well camera can capture some images of it. Discovery, we saw a nominal MECO ohms 1 not required preliminary TIG for ohms 2 3730. Welcome to you and your veteran crew back to space. Copy, uh, no ohms 1 required 3730 preliminary TIG and uh, thanks a lot. Good to be here. Good deal, panel. We'll meet you in the post-OMS-1 tab.